I should stop doing that. It's uh, irritating me looking at it. I can only imagine it's irritating you guys. So let's get started with today's show. G'day Trendsetters, welcome to episode 160 of the Transboot Podcast. My name is Tim Egg, and if you guys have any questions you'd like answered on the show, jump on through to the website, trainsmove.com, and uh, fill in the prompts. So today's question comes from Christy. With my Ironman coming up, what should I do with sunscreen? Do they have sunscreen on the course, or will I need to pack my own? Do I need to run with it? So it's a it's a cool question because you know an eye means a long time out in the sun. So you know you got you got your bike, you're out there for a while, and then you hop off. You you're running around for a while. You it's very it depends on what race you're at and the, what sort of conditions and everything. You can get charcoal burnt. It's crazy. I, I remember my very first Ironman. I, you know, used sunscreen, but because of the old tri kits, the old sleeved, I missed the parts right on my back, and I've still got sunburnt scars today, to this day, on the back from from that. Jeez, oh, geez, that was nasty. Um, but no, they do have sunscreen on the course. You'll be able to use it before, during. Um, your race but I will say you know they, they'll say don't use sunscreen until you've got your number marked on your skin um, I will, and you know double apply sunscreen before the race you know put it on an hour before the race and maybe again just before the race again you know you can never have too much I guess but what I use um, and I like it because I like things that I like is I buy these sachet um, sunscreens for, you know, one use only. You, they're like um, little gel sachets that you get when you open them up, squeeze them in your mouth and run. Uh, they're very much like that. I put them into my little uh, bag on that sits on, top, on my bike tube that I stick, you know, I've got a couple of gels. I've got my salt stick tablets in there. Um, I also have one sunscreen sapsul in there too and so and you and please practice this so in training don't wait till race day and then and then do this but as i'm going you, you know i might be you know 100 120 k's into my iron man um i've been out there for for a little bit few hours it's time to put some sunscreen on now it, it's become easier because i wear the sleeved shirt the sleeved kits but but I still need to put sunscreen on my you know the remaining of my arms my face back of my neck my ear you know well my ears not getting it because it's got the aero helmet covered but you want to you know cover as much as your skin that's being hit by the sun so you're in the aero position yeah you, you grab this you grab this um this is sunscreen capsule um sachet you so say you're just resting with your Elbows, you're steering everything. You're just resting, you know, very comfortably. You rip it, rip it open like you would a, a sports gel. You just pour it into one hand. You rub your hands together. Um, just because you don't. You, what are you using your fingers for? Braking, changing gears. That, that's kind of and just maybe holding on for dear life on downhills and stuff. But, but there's stuff you can do with those fingers. So you just rub it through your fingers and then just. Start start applying it. I do it all in the aero positions because it's you know the most comfortable position to do that with. Obviously, you want to pick the spot before you even get to race day, where you'll probably will apply sunscreen. It's good, you know, nice smooth ground. None of this, you know, you don't want to be doing it where all of a sudden it's really rough road and you, it's, you know, going over speed humps or you got a lot of potholes or you're turning corners or you just pick a nice straight bit of road. Start applying sunscreen on the areas you need to. Have it, have it. Another sachet sitting inside your transition two bag. So when you hop off the bike, you you, you put your socks, shoes on, and you run out of transition. Putting your hat, you sit. You, you know, if you're having two pairs of sunglasses, sunglasses for the day, one for the bike, one for the run, because you know, on the bike it gets dirty. You don't want to muck around trying to keep clean your sunnies on the run. You just grab a new pair. 
uh, you just do all that in, in just and you might grab a couple more gel packs, stick it into your pockets. You have the sunscreen pocket in as well. You can do that's what I do, um, and then after a certain amount of time, you just apply it as you're running. I will say at every aid station, bike and run, they should have a tube of sunscreen that you can squirt and put it on. I will say this again, another warning. You don't know what brand of sunscreen they got. You don't know how you're going to react to that sunscreen. So this is why you need to practice it in training. So you grab your, you grab you, you're purchasing the sunscreen that you know is going to be all right. So all of a sudden you start using some of theirs on an aid station. You put it on your face. You've rubbed it in a bit. You, you're continuing. That starts dripping into your eyes. All of a sudden it, you know, crikey, it, it's a nightmare. So especially on the bike. So you want to use a sunscreen that you know that's going to be good for you. So. Um, and, and one that's not going to drip it too easy in, with with sweat. So there's some little tips. I, I'd be bringing my own, just like uh, you know, a lot of nutrition. People say you bring your own nutrition. Um, it's very much similar to that. Bring your own, you bring your own sunscreen. But and depends on how hot and and the UV ra um, rays for the day is depends how often I'd be applying that sunscreen. Best to apply too much. Best to have it and not need it. You don't you don't want to be going home red as red as a lobster it's nasty so yeah if you guys have any other questions jump on through tim at trainsmove.com is my email till tomorrow ladies and gentlemen you're super awesome for tuning in yet again hooroo see you youtube